Hi there, so I've been creating Godot content uh, for the past uh, two years, okay? And I am usually asked, how are you able to learn uh, Godot? Because as probably you are, I was also like always searching for tutorials to learn uh, the engine, to be able to learn what to do with it, etc. Um, so I think that I do have the knowledge right now to recommend like some courses, some videos that I have seen. That could be quite valuable for you so let's get started so these are the two videos that i always recommend basically how to program in go.js script tutorial and how to make a video game go.js beginner tutorial from brackets okay so this man has been doing in at the beginning he started with unity 12 years ago so he has wide experience in teaching uh unity tutorials but then well he switched up to teaching go.js so well, this is the best place in which you can start maybe you can watch this one and then this one or first this one and then this one you can do it uh, however you want but uh, start here because this guy teaches everything like super super well after that you will have quite an interesting basis of code and you can go to this other channel clear code and you will find two tutorials or courses actually you hide the ultimate interaction to go with over 11 hours of content so in this one you will create like lots of things and learn a lot um but this then we with this you will have like all the bases of godot with also the brackets tutorials and then also you will be able to follow along with its 3d course and let me show you something about this 3d course that actually caught my attention what is really interesting is the fact that at the beginning he has this 3d basic section in which for example he's explaining what a texture is how a 3d model is being created and this is something that I have not seen in any other course so if you're a pretty beginner and you don't know these 3d basics it is quite quite interesting as you can see everything is segmented perfectly so that you can follow along um and you're actually creating like a cell that copy or something like that so it is amazing and it is done in a way that beginners can understand it after having some kind of basis if you feel that with the brackets tutorials it is enough you can directly go ahead and go a step further and create your first 3d games as well, I would either way recommend watching this video as well because, well, you will go over some concepts that Brackis would have uh, covered before. You would go over again and you will practice even more with different projects and more usages and whatever. But, well, sometimes learning is about repetition over and over again. So that's why I would either way take a difference, okay? Because you can also uh, judge by the amount of views that it has, by the number of likes, etc. So lots of people have been able to learn from this and you are not going to be the exception and actually with these two courses okay and then the videos from brackets you would already have like a pretty good basis of godot and uh, with this what you would be able to do is to go to for example i know this one they are creating some kind of platformer game here a flappy bear so probably with the knowledge that you have gained you can go ahead okay and look for these other courses oh this video see uh, this game seems interesting maybe i am able to replicate something or some parts of it completely alone or with some specific tutorials for example here they are creating some kind of rpg game and maybe you don't know how you can create these uh, scenarios so this is done usually with a tile map so you can look for a specific tutorial on how to use tile maps if you haven't in these courses so from there you start building but you don't anymore follow a 10 hour course or anything like that you start searching for specific information that you need to suit your specific needs that you have so that's the idea that you rely less and less on tutorials or also if you have your own idea you can start making it uh, as you can of course if you want to create like the new fortnite well maybe you you won't be able to do so because you don't have the knowledge uh, to do that so just start small at the beginning and then if you actually want to go like the extra mile and you do have the money and you're serious about learning the engine what you can also do is buy some godot courses uh, i personally consume game dev tv courses uh, I, I bought like i believe three godot courses from here they were amazing and for some they have here a complete godot bundle for uh, 37 dollars by the way this video is not a sponsor by any of these platforms and uh, as you can see for th uh, $37 you get over 51 hours of content and these courses are huge because sorry are amazing because they are super well segmented everything is explained perfectly uh, you get access to a question and answer section with the instructor uh, so it really makes a difference 
And another um, place that I recommend that you check out is Zemba. If you go to Create Games Codot, you can find all the courses that they have. Um, and here, uh, Zemba, what has is a subscription. So you pay for a subscription and you can access for as long as that subscription lasts for any single course that you want. Here you have the, the Zemba subscription, for example. And well, for example, here we have a Godot 4 game development mini degree with over 41 hours of content and 20 courses inside of it. Um, and the difference or the main difference between Zemba and Game Dev TV is the fact that Zemba is uh, meant to have like shorter courses, as you can see, from one hour, two hours, three, four hours, maybe some ones, for example, this one or this one. Um, whereas here, maybe you dedicate like a lot of hours to just one project, maybe six, seven hours to just one project. So here you create like smaller uh, projects rather than comprehensive projects, okay? But well, two different ways of learning and both I would say that would work quite well. Or you can even, if you are able to do so, it would be amazing to buy a short subscription here at Zemba and also buy one or two courses here at Game Dev TV so that you compare both methodologies and you will be able to decide which one is better. And also, uh, finally, another problem that I would really recommend is Udemy. Here, if you look for Godot, for example, you will find a lot of courses. And the good thing here is that you choose exactly which one to, to, to watch. Uh, you can find some ones that are actually like super long, 71 hours, and other ones that are a little bit shorter. So here the catalog is huge because anybody can post here a Godot course. As you can see, with just one search, I got over 700 results, much more than the courses that Zemba has and much more than what uh, Game Dev TV has because there are uh, lots of people here publishing the courses. Um, and you can see here that the prices you say, oh, okay, $60 for a course may be a lot if we compare it to what Game Dev TV is charging or Zemba or, or whatever. But well, the thing is that uh, Udemy is like always offering discounts. If you open up your account, for example, I believe that they charge 10, 11, 12 dollars for each course. So the price is quite close to what Game Dev TV offers, for example. Um, so well, this is another platform that you can check. And what I also want to show you here is that if you just look for Godot, well, at least I think that I was lucky enough. But as you can see, from over 700 results, if I just scroll down a little bit in the first page, look what you have over here. This is my new course of Godot, in which I meant to teach Godot super easily and straightforward with just one project that I will show you in a second. With this, you will be able to create like a working project inside of the Godot engine quite easily. And what I really want to highlight here is the fact that even though it is like a brand new uh, course that has, been, that has been posted something like one month or three weeks ago, I don't really remember. And even it is competing with people that has like dozens of reviews and dozens of students, it is it's still popping up in the first page. At least I believe that I was lucky enough. Um, but check here. Here there are courses with 42 reviews, uh, 24 hours long, etc. So it is recommending this in the first page of Udemy. Uh, so it really means that there is a lot of value uh, inside of this course. Because if not, Udemy wouldn't put this at the very first page of the of of the search. So well, I will show you a short extract of the course in a second and well, then you will be able to buy it if you really want to learn Godot, as you can see, in less than 6 hours. If you are serious about leveling up your Godot skills, check out my course. In less than 6 hours, you'll master Godot fundamentals while building this amazing project. Links in the description. See you there.